Hey, what is going on guys? Today I am sharing with you the brand new R Factor 2 Q3 2022 content drop. In this update, we have the new free Catrum Academy car, the mini vintage, basically just a classic mini race car, the Hyundai i30 BTCC car, the Ford Focus BTCC car, and the Worldwide Technologies Raceway or Gateway, uh, the IndyCar track, and also NASCAR used this year year as well. This update also has sweeping improvements such as new TC and ABS systems, Real Road 2.0, uh, and a bunch of other larger and smaller fixes and improvements. I'm just going to be covering the content in today's video. As always, a massive shout out to all of my channel members for their continued support. If you want to become a channel member, you can for just $1 a month. And without further ado, let's get right into this. Alrighty, ladies and gents, here we are. We're starting out in the Hyundai i30 BTCC car. But we're here at Donington Park, which was the last track to be added in the Q2 content update. Here we go, pit limiter off. Again, we're going to be doing two laps in this thing as well as all the other cars. Get a, get a feel for how they drive. And, uh, yeah, so far, I mean, it feels like the other BTCC cars, uh, it feels really good. I love front-wheel drive touring cars. They're so unique and so fun. Uh, downshift protection, that is a new thing. I guess we're demonstrating that. Again, we're going to be focusing mainly on the content here, but, uh, might as well add that on. All right, well, back on the road now. A little bit of a spin there. The car, I guess, got a bit tail-happy, but we're still going. So yeah, so this is the BTCC Pack 2. Uh, you cannot buy all of the Q3 content drop in one big pack like the previous ones, which is quite disappointing. This thing is really snappy, especially for a front-wheel drive car. Jeez. But yeah, you can't buy it all as one pack. You can buy the two new BTCC cars, the Fiesta, or the Fiesta, the Focus, and this one. Uh, but the rest of it you'll have to buy all separately, so that's... Uh, gateway and the mini but yeah this thing feels very very good again it feels like the other BTCC cars the uh, the Toyota and I forgot what the other one we got the infinity I think it was in Q2 feels good uh, I'm enjoying it oh didn't mean to dip a tire onto the grass there yeah overall both of the BTCC cars will run you ten dollars for the pack and I mean, if you enjoy driving BTCC cars or front-wheel drive cars, uh, then yeah, I think it's for you. Or if you're just an R Factor 2 fan, then I think all this content is kind of a no-brainer. But yeah, feels good. Brands hatch as well as a beautiful circuit here in R Factor 2. And yeah, this is looking and feeling very, very good. I enjoy this car. Feels just as I'd expect. And uh, if you have the other BTCC cars, this will be perfect for making a grid. So yeah, overall, fun car. More of the same from the Q2 cars, the Q2 BTCC cars. But overall, I have to say, I enjoyed it. Really high quality car. Feels great. Feels like I'd expect. And uh, yeah, I guess on to the new Ford Focus. Alrighty, so here we are now in the Ford Focus and a cloudy brand's hatch. Again, this track was added in the Q2 content drop. Very high quality track. R Factor 2 doesn't look its best in overcast conditions, but eh, you know, it's Britain, right? Insert Britain always cloudy joke here. And let's drive this thing. Already I can feel that it's a bit different from the, uh, from the Hyundai. The visibility is a lot harder as well. The, the windshield is a very narrow, uh, very narrow windshield. It's not very tall. I feel like I'm kind of looking through a letterbox. It makes it kind of hard to see where the curbs are in all honesty. But I mean, you know, more of the same can be said. Uh, feels great, feels like I would expect. Uh, Studio 397 have done a fantastic job with the BTCC content. The sounds as well, it sounds quite good. I don't, I've never sat in a BTCC car. I've never even heard one, I don't think, to be honest. I don't, I don't think I've seen much BTCC racing, but 
I guess my one potential gripe that I've noticed is that the dashes are all kind of copy-pasted, which might be how it is in real life. Uh, but if they aren't, then I guess it's kind of lazy, but it's not that big of a deal. It's all about the driving experience, and it's definitely here. It drives really well. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we were, we're like drifting it through there. But anyway, yeah, Studio 397, they did a great job with these cars. I know they are Motorsport Games' uh, failed BTCC game, or I guess that game is still coming, but who knows, to be honest. I'm glad either way we have it, though, in our Factor 2, because there's no way the physics of the BTCC game are going to be this good. And these cars are definitely right up there with the iRacing TCR cars. But yeah, overall... Really fun car to drive. Really fun cars to drive. I love front-wheel drive touring cars. Uh, if you enjoy them as well, then these will be right up your alley. Again, for 10 bucks for both, if this is your thing, and you enjoy this, you enjoy our Factor 2, then it's a no-brainer in my opinion. But anyway, let's move on now to the Mini. Alrighty, so here we are, ladies and gents. We're in the Mini Cooper here at Zanvort, we're at the back of the grid. We got 15 cars here doing a race. Uh, and if immediately, if you're a fan of historical cars and historical racing, then this might be one you're going to want to pick up. Let's try our best to negotiate our way through here. Oh, Jesus. All right. Who said the Mini wasn't a rally car? <laughs> Going through the banking here in these tiny little bulbs. I don't know. That's the only way I can describe them. Their center of gravity is probably very high. But anyway, if historical racing is your thing, then this will be a no-brainer purchase for you. Slippy, slidey, old cars. Really gotta have some finesse. No arrow, of course, as well. It's all on mechanical grip! which I don't have any of, apparently, or at least we're facing the right way. Nice little pirouette for the crowd. Then we have, of course, on vintage racing tires as well. You definitely gotta get used to these things, that's for sure, but front wheel drive. So, you know, I guess that's the, the vein of this update. And besides my lack of skill, they're quite fun to drive, I have to admit. They feel just as I would expect, pretty shitty. Uh, <laughs> Uh, being a, a 60s race car, uh, that, that kind of comes with the time. But yeah, really, really fun cars to drive. If I got used to them, I could probably do a pretty competitive race and I would enjoy it. Of course, I'm sure this car is on drum brakes as well. So, <laughs> not the best braking capabilities either. Just a real relic of the time. The Mini is definitely not made for the F1 Zandvoort, I tell you that, but... Oh, we're side by side! He actually just sent it on me. <laughs> Fun racing here with the AI. Let's not spin again, coming through here. No pirouettes needed. Oh, it almost happened again, <laughs> but we caught it. Super, super cool cars. Again, if I really got used to driving them, and probably not on Zanvort, they would be a lot more enjoyable and I'd be a lot better, but for now, I'm happy with it. This will run you $5, I think, on its own, so, I mean, not iRacing levels, but I can't ignore the many free alternatives in a Seto Corsa, but if you're an R Factor 2 player and this sounds and looks fun to you, then, you know, go for it. But anyway, let's get on to the car that whether you buy any of the DLC or not, you do have, and that's the Catrum Academy. Alrighty, ladies and gents, here we are in the Catrum Academy at Laguna Seca. Laguna Seca was added in the Q2 content drop, uh, and we're here in this really unique car, really weird car as well. So interesting to drive, its handling characteristics are really weird, mainly because, as you can see, the front tires are a lot more tucked in. Their width on the car is different from the front tires to the rear tires, meaning that the whole package as a whole handles quite weird, but they're actually quite planted. They sound really cool as well. I like how they sound a lot. 
If you don't know, this car is used a lot in the UK as kind of a gentleman's and club racing as a whole car. Uh, I've never driven one, of course, in real life, but I mean, it drives believable. It drives how a very weird car like this would drive, and we are off into the shadow realm with the corkscrew. That's always nice. Well, this race has kind of just turned into a hot lap session now, but if you're gonna get anything with this car, you're gonna get oversteer because of the just the weight difference. So much of the weight is at the back of this car. It's front engine, but just because of how big the back of this car is, and of course you're also sat near the back of it as well, it is an oversteery boy. Jesus Christ. This thing is quite hard to drive, let me tell you. But, I mean, it feels good. It feels like our factor too. It feels... Like it has a good physics model, and besides that, I don't really know what else to say about this thing. Very unique. Again, it is free, so if you have R Factor 2, you might as well hop in and try it. You can download it on Studio 397's Steam Workshop page. Alright, let's not spin. Final attempt at the corkscrew. Slow the car all the way down. Got a snap there. Kind of cut the track, but it's okay. We got 0.25, Jesus Christ! <laughs> we got warning points, I guess that's a new thing that our Factor 2 has as well with this update. What? What just happened? It's about to rip my headphone cord out. You know what? I'll take it. k Academy, free car, you might as well try it. Very unique car to drive, personally for me. I'm probably not gonna get into it much more. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we are at Gateway, the track, the one track that was added in the Q3 content drop. We're here in the Dallara W18 or something like that. I don't know. It's the 2022 IndyCar uh, with the short oval package, just like they would use in real life. Let's try to get going here. This thing is very snappy. I don't know why. Hopefully the tires can heat up, but Jesus, that was a little sketchy. Let's try to survive going into T1. I guess there's a car on my outside. I don't know the line here. I don't know how to drive Gateway. But man, if you look, these cars are insanely fast. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I don't think we would have gotten alive out of that one. But here we are. Do we just full throttle? Almost. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I can't oval race for shit on IndyCar, so we can just watch the replay here. Uh, yeah, Gateway looks absolutely fantastic. Laser scanned as well, so great to drive. Uh, I, don't, I haven't driven the iRacing one, but I'd imagine they're pretty comparable. Uh, so, yeah, really enjoyable. Jesus. <laughs> I, I don't know how I got out of that one alive, but uh, yeah, really fun track. If IndyCar is your thing here in our factor two, uh, then this is a no-brainer. Or if you just want to get more into oval racing in our factor two, then this is for you. So overall, should you pick up the Q3 content drop for our factor two? The answer is if it interests you, then go right ahead again. It's not one big pack, sadly. If you want to buy all the content, it'll run you about $23 USD. Uh, but if you're an R Factor 2 fan, then I guess it's a no brainer for you. And overall, I've enjoyed myself recording this video. So, yeah, more great work from Studio 397. I love to see it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, a like and a sub would mean a lot. Thank you so much for the support on the channel recently. We are on the road to 10K, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, we got a ton of awesome content coming soon. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.